When I'm entertaining, I like to mix up a signature cocktail. That way everyone can help themselves. I don't have to play bartender and that way I can enjoy more time with my guest. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite cocktail to ring in the new year, my pomegranate sparkler. Hey guys, so it is all about pomegranates this month. A lot of my recipes, right? So first to get started for our cocktail, I'm gonna make a pomegranate simple syrup. So I'm using pomegranate juice. So you got about a half a cup. Right into the pot. So I'm heating this on medium heat and then a quarter cup of sugar. So we're gonna sweeten it up we want to heat the pomegranate juice, melt all that sugar, and then just bring it to a gentle boil on medium heat, and then cook it until it reduces and it gets nice and syrupy, about five, six minutes. All right, so I love pomegranates. I want to give you a great tip. They can be rather messy. Definitely wear your apron. I got my half apron on because when you get it on you, it will stain. So here is a great tip. Just want to take your pomegranate, carefully cut it in half and the reason why I say carefully so that way the juice doesn't get on you and then you just want to put it in a bowl and I'm sure you probably have seen this great trick on social media somewhere put it into a bowl a large bowl of cold water and then just break the pomegranate apart that way none of the juice splatters on you and you won't stain your clothes so we're just going to break it apart the white pith will float to the top and then the areoles, which are the pomegranate seeds, will just sink to the bottom. So our pomegranate syrup has reduced by half. So you just want to transfer into a heat safe bowl and let it cool. So the great part about this, you could do this up to a few months ahead. Keep in a heat safe bowl, cover it with plastic, store it in your refrigerator. It will last you a few months. If it tightens up a little bit, you can always pop it in the microwave for just a few seconds. You don't want to heat it. You just want it to become pliable again. And this is your mixture for your cocktails. We're ready to make a cocktail. I went ahead and made some of my pomegranate syrup about a few days ago. You just took it out at room temperature and then that way it comes to a nice pliable texture. That's the great part about this cocktail. You can do everything ahead. So this is how I like to get ready so I'm stress-free when entertaining. I'm gonna just garnish the cocktail. So I have a blood orange. You could use a regular orange. I just love that little sun-kissed color on the orange. Isn't that beautiful? And that's really what it is. It just has a sun-kissed look. All right, and then just twist your peel right into the glass. That, that way the oils collect right into the bottom of the glass. So now what I'll do is I'll toss in my orange zest, add my pomegranate syrup. So I'm basically prepping all the glasses before my company comes. You could do this up to a few hours ahead. I'll take out my cheese board if I'm serving a cheese board about an hour ahead. Light the candles, set the music, everything is done. I'm just going to add the orange Grand Marnier in the bottom. So this is a heightened sparkler. So now I'll just leave them just like this at room temperature. Keep them on the bar and then when your company comes, take your bubble, knocking things over. <laughs> I haven't even had any sparkler yet. Our pomegranates from earlier, that's our garnish. Look how many pomegranate areoles we get out of that. Crazy, right? And my kiddos will love eating these pomegranate seeds. They'll just sit and eat the whole bowl. Pop those in there. All right, so we are ready. Now, your guests come. Time to pop the bubbly. So I have some Prosecco. You could use Cava, which Prosecco is just an Italian sparkler. Cava is a Spanish sparkler. They're fairly inexpensive. 
And that's fine because we're doctoring it up here. That's the sound of a party. <laughs> Even Sophie thinks so. All right, so you see here I have two cocktails. So you know what that means? You need to join me for a pomegranate sparkler. I can't drink alone. Give it a little zhuzh. Come on. Cheers. To us. <laughs> I love it. It's delicious, it's light, it's fruity, it's perfect for the holidays and to ring in the new year. Head over to the newspaper's website for this recipe and don't forget, comment in the comment box below. See that little box down there that says comments? I want to hear from you. Happy holidays to you and your family and a happy new year. Cheers.